Your snowman looks super. You worked so hard drawing the head and placing on top of the snowman. Thank you, Grandad. It's so much fun to build snowmen. I wish it snowed more often. Hot chocolate, anyone? <sighs> Yum. Thank you, Mummy. Thank you. I love Christmas time. It is so fun to open presents, be in my school Christmas show, put up fairy lights, watch Christmas specials on TV, and have time off school. It is a wonderful time of year. I enjoy the decorations and the delicious mince pies and cakes your grandmother makes. Me too. Grandad, but why do we celebrate Christmas? That is a great question, Alice. It is easy to forget about what Christmas is all about. It is easy to get distracted from the precious baby who was born and laid in the manger so many centuries ago. God was getting the world ready for almost the beginning of time for that first Christmas. The Bible tells us about Adam and Eve, the first two people, and how, sadly, they disobeyed God and brought sin and death into the world. The Bible tells us God made everything just in six days and it was amazing, completely perfect. On the sixth day of creation, God made Adam and Eve in his own image. They were the first two people. They were so happy living in the beautiful garden God had made and spending time talking with him. God gave Adam and Eve one rule. They could eat from any tree in the Garden of Eden, but they were not to eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil or they would die. They were made to live forever, but disobeying God would end that. Satan, who was once one of God's greatest angels, had rebelled against God and wanted to hurt him. He came to Eve and Adam and tempted them to eat the fruit of the forbidden tree. He questioned God's goodness and lied to them, telling them they would be like God. Eve looked longingly at the fruit, took it and ate. Then she gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. They were full of guilt, they were ashamed. Sin and death had come into the world. They were banished from the Garden of Eden. But before they left, God told them the best news. One day he would send a rescuer. One day God would send his own son to pay the price for sin, the breaking of God's rules. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So even back in the beginning, after the first people sinned and messed up God's perfect world, God was planning for the first Christmas. He promised to send his son to save people from their sins. That's amazing, Grandad.